Oh, you are a guru. You have divided Vedas. You have made Brahma Sutra. You have done so many Purans. You have done Mahabharata. And everything you have done. You have taught all the person, human for human being, how they can be happy. And so you have done all these things. But I am saying that you are unhappy. Why you are unhappy? Then he replied, Gurudev, I don't know why I am unhappy. You are a visha, like a boy, doctor. doctor. You can see why I am unhappy. I have done everything and all human being met has made me guru, but still I am not satisfied. Every consoled all the Vedas, Mantra, Upanishad, it is very hard to know all this. And to know the essence of Vedas, it is too hard for any human being. For also, for any very learned person. They will be bewildered in that. What you have done? I have done. What you are telling? I have done all things. But still, I am lacking something. You know that Vyas is Satchat Narayan. He is Sattavesh Avatar incarnation. But still, he is unhappy. Without Guru. If anyone is not initiating, not associating, not following his Gurudev totally, and if there is anything is lacking here, not telling to his Gurudev, he cannot success. So Vyasa is telling, Oh, I have opened my heart to you, and you should see what is lacking. Then he told, he began to smile. And told me that, oh, something is like what you have done for Artha Dharma Kama, Yatha Dharma Adyas Chartha, Muni Varjan Kirtita. You have done so much to attain Dharma, Artha, Artha Mani Mani, Kama, and that is desires and Moksha. You have tried so much for this. But you have not tried to glorify Krishna. Supreme personality of God. You have confused in your writings whether he has shape or not. You have not glorified him by his so sweet and powerful uh, pastimes. Have you told anywhere that? Krishna is the son of Jasoda and Nanda Baba coming from the home. You have told that he is transcendental. He is Aja. But you have not told like this. Have you told that Jasoda Ma had tightened in his grandal grand motor? Never. Have you, uh, you have told anywhere? That Jasoda took the ear of Krishna and he twisted it and Krishna became fearful and he was weeping so much loudly, Oh Mother, Oh Mother, I will not do again like this. Have you written all this? Never, I have not done it. Have you written that gopis are tried in Rash Lila and ordering Krishna that bring our ankles, right? Ankle bells. And uh, you can message our feet. And Krishna is taking the feet, dust of gopis, mother, Nanda Baba Jasoda. He is taking, carrying the shoes of Nanda Baba. Have you written? Never. Then pardon me about it. He is Vasan of Rash. Rash Obai Shah. Sahiyar Rash. Hmm? Oh, I have not known all these things. Oh, then go. And at once, quickly, be pure and be in trance, praying Krishna that he is all our should come in your heart. 
I am telling my own experience that I was Manasputra Brahma, but anyhow I became, in, come to this world and became son of any maid servant, low class. When I was of five years, some rishis like Sanak Sanandan, Sanat Kumar and all realized rishis came in my village and they wanted to be there for four months in rainy season. <coughs> so they were, they made some huts there and they used to tell Hari Katha and worshipping Krishna and telling Hari Katha so much each other. My mother was engaged there as a maid servant to wash the pots, to what clean the area, area and everything. I used to go with them. <coughs> One day, I requested them to give their remedies. And it was uh, Attached uh, in leaf any leaf. leaf. leaf uh, so they quickly get me. And sometimes they used to keep for me something. Mm -hmm. And they gave. The power of Fit, wash fit water, fit for water and remnants <coughs> and padathuli dust, dust, dust of these Vaishnavas are so powerful to clean the heart and uh, for bhakti giving. Krishna Das Kadriyaji Swami has tell what? Bhakta Pada Dhuli Ar 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 He is doing Goshana Announcing With the sounds of any drum Oh here The Feet water of any Vaishnava. The Vaishnava Pada Dhuli, Dhuli means the? Fit dust. And remnant, remnants of two kinds. First remnant, any prasadam, and more prasadam is his words. Harikatha. If anyone serving this thing, oh, so he will be purified and he will achieve Krishna Prem very soon. So, by taking this, in few days I become so pure. I have a transcendental faith in my heart that by serving Krishna, our life will be successful. And when they were going, I began to wait. They gave also some mantra. I was thinking that what I will do after they are going. So I am so worried and weak. They went on and my mother was taking me in, always in that. I have no time to chant that mantra. So I thinking, what should I do? Oh Krishna, arrange. At once, one day, my mother was going to milk cow in very evening in some darkness. And snake, poisonous snake, bite and see. At once, die. And he quickly saw that as my mother is dead, at once quickly run away in the forest and went in dense forest there. Wild beasts like lion, tigers and mad elephants used to be there. But no fear at all. Only fear from calling all these things. Material attachment. So he quickly ran out there and he took bath in a very pure form and sat down and began to remember meditate that mantra. Very quickly, in some way, this, and he saw a trance, uh, in his trance saw, like, like lightning, Narayan, hmm? uh, Samsakrakada. And at once it quickly vanished. Then I began to weep so loudly. I wanted to die. Diving in the river any or 
jumping from any mountain. But at once, a aerial sound. Aerial sound. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, don't die, don't die, don't be. Anyone cannot see me if this uh, karma krita body, this body made by karma. Now you can understand. Go on chanting and remembering, touring in whole world, my names. And thus a time will come where all cards will go away. And then death will come and you can keep your feet on the head of that day. And quickly giving up this body, you will have a transcendental body. And by that you can go anywhere in any sphere in Vaikunt, Vrindavan, in this world. So, I have some experience. So now you should go and be in trance, praying Krishna, adopting Bhakti. Then he went. Bhakti Yogena Manasi Samyak Panikite Amasyat Puranam Purna Mayancha Dada Pasha. Hmm? Jaya Sammohito Jeeva Atmanam Trigunatma Kamparopi Manute Anartham Tat Kritan Chavi Pabadyate Anartho Pasamam Sakshat Bhakti Yoga Madhokshi Ji Lokasya Janato Vidvan Chakre Sankhitayam Jasya Vai Suya Marayam Krishne Paramapurushe Bhakti Upabadyate Punsa Sok Moha then he, in trance, you see, in trance means he surrendered himself, unconditional surrender. Oh Krishna, I am yours. Be merciful to me. Sprinkle your mercy. I want to see you. And I want to show your all pastimes that Narada has shown. And quickly be realized. Apasyata purusham purna, purna purus, purna, purna mudam, purnat purna mudhuchyate, purnasya purnam adaya purna mediyopasya. Krishna is not zero. His shape is there. His all the attributes are there. Parasa shakti vipi dhaiva shuyate. In Parakrishna, all the Parashaktis are there indifferent to Krishna. And by this, he can uh, do Parinam, in Parinam, uh, all Bhaikun Tloks, Vrindavan Dham, Golok Dham, all these ones. Lacks and lacks he can do. He shall. He shall all from beginning uh, coming in the home of Mother Jasoda and he saw also that at the same time, in the same night, at the same 12 midnight, midnight he saw that he also came, manifested, manifested uh, uh, in the Kans jail uh, in front of Devaki and Jasoda and in Basudev. And at the same time he saw that from coming Krishna, from the omb of Jasoda and also a garden came out that is that was Jogmaya. And thus from beginning hmm, to end Dwarkandida, everything he saw in his hands, everything. And then he revealed it as a Srimad Bhagavata. So Bhagavat he saw, Bhagavat is not new that he read, uh, wrote. Bhagavat is not a paper and ink, nothing. Transcendental knowledge, transcendental past of Krishna, which Brahma uh, realized here and again Vyasa. And then he wrote it for them. Jasavai Suyamana in Krishna in Paramahamushri. Bhakti Upapadyate Punsa Shokamu Hapayapa. All these worldly persons that reading, reading all these things, he will be perfect and he will thus go away. But so, so moha and garments, connotation, illusion, fear, 
and Krishna Prema Bhakti will come. So first thing is that our all disciplic acharyas have propagated the message of Bhakti. Bhakti aham ekaya prajna. In Bhakti, there should be Bhagwan, there should be Bhakta, and there should be Bhakti. There should be Arathana, Aratha and Aradha. So, Bhakti is like a person, Parasha Shakti, Para, Ladri Yam Sambhi, the essence of both is Bhakti. In word, another word we can tell that Srimati Radhika is Vidya Badhu. No all. So, we should first obey our Gurudev. Gurudev should be also qualified. We should be very far away from monism, Advaim Pad. We should not consider that we are same as Brahma, we are Brahma. Never. And if you have this idea, in any way, Bhakti will never come. So Vyasdi himself has told, Diyamane nam dhranante bina masseva nam jana. If Krishna is giving himself this shai ji mukti or anything, any devotee will not take. Bina matseva, bina without her. Only they will take Bhakti. Everywhere in Srimad Bhagavad and Gita, Vedanta, Upanishad, everywhere it has been told that Krishna has saved, pitiful saved. All saves have come out from Him. He cannot be saved. He cannot be powerless, never. And we cannot be Brahma, never we cannot be Brahma. We can be servant, eternal servant of Krishna. So, you should obey your Prabhupada also. We should try to obey Srila Bhakti, Siddhan, Saraswati, Krishna, and Thakur, our Guru. They were quite opposite to this modism. If anything, anyone is doing association of that person who had some monism, that we are Brahma, they are making offense in the lotus feet of their Gurudev, Swamiji and also all like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all. I request that if you have any association from your friends, try to give up light stool. It will be benefit for you. Don't take association of any devotee who is Life, even, we should give up all these things for Krishna. Krishna will sit, see and he will respond to his mercy to them. Now there are so many, they are thinking that we are Jitrika, Nastik like. And thinking that I am Brahma, Ji Goswami had told that we are Abhinna from Krishna. These ideas are just opposite to Bhakti. We should try to cancel all these things and try to have bhakti in Guru first. Jasya Devi Parabhakti Jatha Devi Tatha Gurau Tashyate Kattahi Artha Prakasham Devi So we should try to obey fully our spiritual master totally. And then offer ourselves in the Lord's feet of Krishna. Krishna ha having transcendental body translator all qualities, so merciful, so beautiful, so jolly, having all quality in this world. So we should not think that he is Nirakar, Nirvishesh, Brahma, Ardhya, equal to him or like him. So give up with all these things. And try to be follow Srila Vyasdev, Srila Narada Goswami, Brahma, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, Mahaprabhu and all his associates. Then we can learn something. First, this is the thing. To obey our Gurudev. If anyone not obeying our Gurudev, 
his guru there, that he should be given up at once. Gaur Pramanande.
offer to the lotus feet of Srimati Radha. Then he make give to Krishna, his beloved, <laughs> gradually. Mm -hmm. Gurdjieff, here's one more flower. Oh, very beautiful. How this? <laughs> I put it there. The rose didn't have any smell, so that has smell to it. Oh. Govind Govind Dhamma, Dhamma Dhamma, Dhamma Dhamma, 
ቤቴ ምንደዳሞ ተለማደ ቤቴ ከምንደዳሞ But we did all Prahlad Maharaj, Puranjan, we did that last year in Badger, so everybody already knows. No. <laughs> so then you can tell it quickly. <laughs> so we just do 10th canto here, Gurudev. I will tell perhaps up to 9th here and 10th in Badger. New Braja. <laughs> so you are preparing ground for New Braja. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. बहुत अच्छा द्वार ओके
Pas menit ini. Kan hanya yang We can be very careful from Advait Bhadi Monism <coughs> because they don't take Tulsi Mala, they don't take this tilak, they take like this. And if they are renounced, then they will take eight danda sannyas. And they will always tell that Aham Brahmasmi world is false. false. And all the jivas are Brahma. So we can real, recognize them and we will be careful for them. But it is very hard to, to escape from the persons who are telling that uh, Bhagavad Bhakti is best dharma. Nam Sankirtan is Kali Yuga Dharma. But they behave opposite to this. 
They accept all the theories of Vaishnavism, but they never follow and they preach against the principles of God, taking Tridanda. Understand taking Tridanda. In Vaishnava uh, line and propagating that I am Brahma. I don't have faith in Vrindavan. Weeping like omens, dancing and doing kirtan. We are Brahma. So they are so dangerous. Taking also tilak mala, everything, but not following the principles of love. They are so dangerous. I think that a very nearer to us, our mind, which is not controlled, his main and prominent enemy of us. But controlled mind is our friend. So, all the roots of evils is our also mind. So we should treat them, we have them, so that we can enter in the realm of Sukhda Bhakti or Bhakti. So don't associate with them. In any case, don't associate. That is why Sri Lalu Goswami, Jeeva Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, Gopal Bhatta Goswami, after them, that Krishna Das Kapiraj Goswami. All has wonders for this. If you are chanting Hari name and hearing Hari Katha, lakhs and lakhs times births, even you have no tears in your eyes, heart is not melting, then you should think that there are so many offenses in us. So how we can reform our heart so that taking name at once tears will come. And for separation of Krishna, we will be. And if we are not going so, then quickly bhakti will also go away. Here he is telling that what is Suddha bhakti, pure bhakti. Anna abhilasita sunnam, gyan karma dhanabhatam, ankulleni krishna anushilana bhakti ruttama. I think that this is Loki is known to all. Who can remember? Those who have remembered it, they can raise their hands. Oh, very easy to remember. So you should try to remember this is Loki. Very easy. If you can remember your, as a com computer keeps all these things, all these things, so much remember. Whole day you can chatter and do better. But why cannot And do a commentary, Dingli, what is told in this session? Prabhu Goswami that told this session. Before, there were so many paribhasa, definition of bhakti, 
but it it includes all the definitions which were previously told in Bhagavatam, in Upanishad, in any Purans, anywhere. What Parashar told, what Narada told, Paranurakti Ishwari Narada told. <coughs> Paranurakti Ishwari. So much love and affection for Supreme Personality of Godhead is Bhakti. Paranurakti. Srimad Bhagavat tells like this. Nirgunasya hi. Lakshanam he bhakti yogascha nirgurasya udharitam ahetukya gavitam. That continuous, like a flow, like a chain, continuous and without any cause, if our heart is always in Krishna, always and always, then it is Bhakti. But it includes all the definitions of Bhakti from Quran, Vaid, Upanishad, everything. He is telling that Anya Vilashita Sunya. <coughs> Bhakti Vinod Thakur is telling. The cultivation of activities which are meant for exclusively no, for the pleasure of Krishna. Only for pleasure of Krishna, not for us. Or in other words, uninterrupted flow of service to Krishna performed through all in the vows of body, mind and spirit, and through the expression of various spiritual sentiments, that is how, which is not covered by gyan, knowledge, aimed at impersonal life liberations, and karma, reward-seeking activities and which is devoid of all desire other than the aspiration to bring happiness to Sri Krishna is called Uttama Bhakti, pure devotional service. What and how are you are doing? All should be for Krishna, to please Krishna. If you are taking mill and if you are thinking that, it is for to please Krishna. If you are coming here, why coming? That Krishna will be pleased. Otherwise you should also think it, that if I am going to this association, I will be qualified to serve Krishna, that is why I am coming. Why you are sleeping? Why? Why you are sleeping? In night, why you sleep? Really, you do? <laughs> <laughs> but devotee thinks like If you are sleeping, that in morning I will be fresh to serve Krishna, to meditate, to chant, remember, to read books and to be qualified. And thus I will serve Krishna and devotees. Hmm? Then it, is, it will be bhakti, otherwise not. Why you are taking breath? Why? To keep body alive. Body alive. But why? A, that is for Krishna. So from today you should learn all these things and do like this, follow. Then you will realize something and you will be happy. Not only that I came from India and read to us. And you can easily try to hear. You can take a book and keep it in your library. 
in the industry. Never. So, <coughs> what has been told? Again, you should tell. The cultivation of you can without writing, you can. Water. 
not good for you. So bhakti in the same way. Bhakti is always there, uttama bhakti. It is called uttama bhakti. But some alteration may be in this world. For example, uncontaminated water means pure water. Meaning that in this water there is no color, smell, alteration or any kind of cause by the addition to another substance. Similarly, phrase Uttama Bhakti refers to Bhakti which is devoid of any contamination, alteration and attach, attachment to material position and which is performed in exclusive manner. So, there is two kinds of water. Similarly, there are two kinds of bhakti. Uttama bhakti, best bhakti, and which is not bhakti, but it seems that it is bhakti. Contaminated or mixture of bhakti. Uttama bhakti or Mishra bhakti? इन विशेषणों के द्वारा भक्ति के विपरीत भाव को ग्रहण नहीं करना चाहिए विपरीत भाव वर्जित होने से शुद्ध स्वभाव ही परिवर्तित होता है केवल भक्ति शब्द का व्यवहार करने से जो अर्थ बोध होता है इन समस्त विशेषणों से युक्त भक्ति के द्वारा भी उस अर्थ का बोध Perhaps by merely using the word bhakti alone, this meaning is indicated. Since the word bhakti already contains within it all these adjectives anyway, then as bhakti rasacharya, Shilarupu Swami specifically employed the qualifying adjective uttama for no reason? No. Just as when desiring to drink water, people generally ask, is this water uncontaminated? Similarly, in order to describe the attributes of Uttama Bhakti, our previous Acharyas considered it necessary to indicate that people mostly practice Mishra Bhakti or mixed devotion. In reality, Rasacharya Shlaru Goswami is aiming to describe the attributes of Kevala Bhakti or exclusive devotion. Chal Bhakti, Pratibhimba Bhakti, Chaya Bhakti, a shadow of devotion, Kharpa Mishra Bhakti, Gyan Mishra Bhakti and so on are not Shuddha Bhakti. They will all be examined in sequence later on. A Bhakti Kastana. Here he is telling this Swarup Lakshana of Symptom of Bhakti. Anukulene Krishna Anushina. Whatever we do, to please Krishna. If Krishna is not pleased, then we should not do that thing. By this, Silaji Goswami is telling that Anushila, there is a word. Anushilam. It has two meanings. Jeevchila Jeeva Goswami has told. One, Prabhati Amunirvitti Rukhshari Man Bani Ki Chesta Rukhamsi. Whatever we do, by our all kinds of senses by body, mind and by tongue this. Do for uh, do all to please Krishna. And second Priti B 
विषयात्मक मानस भाव बन प्रीति लिप्स इन माइंड हार्ट सो फ्रॉम हार्ट और माइंड जो सो डू फॉर वी आर गोइंग टू डू फॉर कृष्ण फर्स्ट इज बडीली बाई माइंड एंड बाई टन वी कैन डू बट माइंड इज समथिंग कंट्रोलिंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स सेपरेट फ्रॉम ऑल दीज थिंग्स इफ माइंड इज नॉट देयर दे कैन नॉट डू एनी थिंग so they are subordinated to mind and without the help of all senses he can do anything so also the endeavor of that mind and heart should be for krishna and that is called bhav that is arati this is not the exercise of body body what is this in there it means cultivation through the endeavors to engage and disengage one's body mind and words second it means cultivation towards the object of our preeti or affection through manasi bhav the sentiments of the heart and mind there are two words pravritti and nirvriti engage and disengage engage our bodily senses turn mind and that thing and also disengage which are not favorable for pleasing krishna so both things we should not dis um, associate with any person who is against bhakti who is not doing bhakti who is so much attached to worldly affairs these are the issue we should not we should not uh, be controlled by anger lust and all other things so these are liberty both are needed especially in beginning but we should know also fully that these endeavors are of two kinds pravritti nivritti but ye manas bhav rupanshi by mind or by the heart this is main thing so bodily by mind uh, by bodily turn all this and if our should be dependent to mind that is mane bhav arati atav chesta aur bhav prasper adhari so both dependent to each other but mind is prominent what we are doing although anushilan is of two types the cultivation through manasi bhav is included within cultivation by chesta one's activities hence one's activities or endeavors and one's internal sentiments are mutually inter- interdependent and in the end it is the cheshta which are concluded to be the sole characteristics of cultivation so when our all senses the endeavor of all our mind body tongue everything when it will be helpful on food forever forever 
then all, all the power, Kunti powers are called in power, authorized. This is like you are chanting name. Why you are chanting name? To please Krishna. But you will have to do something else in the beginning. Offering yourself in the lotus feet of Kunti. And then chant and remember. You should know that I am eternal servant of Krishna. My everything is of Krishna, my Guru. But you should also remember this thing that all the all the in the powers which we are doing <laughs> for, to Krishna or related to Krishna are not called Bhakti. Comes knew that Krishna will kill me. The eighth son of Vasudeva, he will kill me. And from that very day, he used to think about Krishna. Where is Krishna? He will kill me. I should kill him before that. Where is now? So oh, he is in Goku. How to kill him? Sending Putana, Bakasura, Agasura and all to kill him. But all were killed. He brought that snake, poisonous black snake to Mathura by a crew. And he was thinking, how to kill, how to kill, Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. But this remembering more than a yogi and a devotee is not called Bhakti. Why he was remembering always? In trance life, he, more than a yogi. In trance, all Krishna. How to kill it? Where he is? Always. So he, this is not Bhakti. Always also um, uttering. Where is Krishna? Have you seen Krishna? Krishna is killed now. Putana has killed Krishna. Agasura has killed Krishna. Krishna, 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 all day. Sometimes in his dream he used to tell like this. Where is Krishna? Are you killed at once? But this remembrance is not, it is not favorable for Krishna. Charuna and Mushti, hmm? Brahma, and Shankar, Narad, it is very hard to embrace Krishna. No? But how Charuna and Mustik were so much lucky to Krishna do like this and to fall down in there. And Krishna also impressed him, Charuna and Mustik. For hours. <laughs> Any one fortunate person can do one thing like But they did. But is it bhakti? No. So all the Indian powers, by tongue, body, and mind, even by mind, are, will, are not bhakti. What to tell you? So, if we were doing anything related to Krishna devotee, but it is, it will not please Krishna, then it is not Sutta. Also, sometimes Krishna may be pleased by your all activities, but even that is not Bhakti. When Charuna and Mosti were fighting with Krishna, Krishna was so happy that after a long time, and uh, testing, testing, testing yeah. beer rush. 
And he was so happy. And doing like boxing, like he was doing, and playing. But it is also not Bhakti Krishna, whether Krishna is happy. It not depends on happiness of Krishna. It depends on the mood of that devotee or that person. What he wants by all activities to please Krishna or actually to kill Krishna. So there are so many things in this. Then it will be with the one of the other by now. Yes, so right? Try to note it in your heart. Then you can serve your Gurudev. Then you can serve any devotee. And then you can serve Krishna. Otherwise. Krishna has sent me to tell you all these things. It is not that, oh Gurudev, and some drop of tear came. And after that, oh, I have no connection with that Narayan Maharaj. <laughs> Not like this. So you should try to take it. This is called association. Hearing, all, all we are hearing, what you are telling. But not for me. This is not. So what? In association, we are reading, we are discussing, we should try to Only when the activities of one's body, mind and words are favorably executed for the pleasure of Krishna is it called bhakti. It is called bhakti. Kamsa and Shishupal were always endeavoring towards Krishna with their whole body, mind and words. But their endeavors will not be accepted as bhakti because such endeavors were unfavorable to Krishna Preeti or Krishna's pleasure. Unfavorable endeavors cannot be called bhakti. Once, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Vedic, Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur. In his Naudir Parikrama, he came to the town Navadvi. And at that time, all the Brahmins and all so called Vaishnava were in enemical turn to Srila Prabhupada. They were so angry to him. Why? Hearing Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, his all teachings, all were attracted to him. Now no one was honoring them, Brahmins and so called Vaishnavas. So they became so angry. He told that actually uh, a man cannot be Brahmin only by birth. His virtue makes his, all the virtues of Brahman. If he has, then he is Brahman, otherwise no Brahman. A son of doctor, if he is engineer, by birth he cannot be engineer. Doctor. doctor. So anything, by birth, it cannot be told that he is doctor, engineer. He will have to be qualified for that. So if the qualities of Brahman are there, then he may be called Brahman. Brahma Janati Ti Brahma. Those he has realized what is Brahma, what is our soul, what is the Lizri Maya, and accordingly he is doing bhakti to Krishna, then he is Brahma. Otherwise, no. Actually, they were not realizing, realized Vaishnava. 
So all became furious to Prabhupada. So they wanted to kill Prabhupada. About more than thousands of pilgrims were with Prabhupada. And they attacked at once in the middle of the town. And with soda water, hot water, bricks, stones and all were surrounding. There was no way to escape. At that time all were with blood here, there, all injuries. And at that time they wanted to attack Prabhupada. And in the meantime, a boy was, very brave boy was there. Not in red, red cloth, but in white, like Babu. And he at once took him to a uh, house of Godi's house, in the house, and closed the door and changed his cloth to forcibly to Prabhupada. And he took his red cloth and dunder and he announced that he is Prabhupada. And quickly, anyhow, he sent Prabhupada in his dress, white dress to At that time, thousands of disciples of Prabhupada were there. All were saving one their lives. None has care. Where is Prabhupada? What is going on? And to take the dresses of Prabhupada means he will be attacked and they will kill him. But he was so brave that I will be killed no harm. Prabhupada should be said. So surrender to the Prabhupada. This is called what? Surrender. And service of Guru. By body. No? Body. By mind. And by his senses. At the time of Raman, which also there was a boy like Kuresh. And he did like so to serve his Gurudev. If we can serve Gurudev or Vaishnavas here in this world, then we may be qualified for that. Otherwise, Krishna will reject us, Bhakti will reject us. So we should try to know what is Suddha, Pyor Bhakti, Uttama Bhakti, and then to endeavor by all our actions. Here in this slok, Krishna service has been called. That is Krishna Nusilanam Bhakti Ruttama. This is Swarupa Lakshan. Swarupa Lakshan means intrinsic, intrinsic nature of Bhakti. What? To serve Krishna. Begin from Gurudev. To serve by all means, this is a part sala. Part sala means school. Primary school to learn all these things here. You know? And if you are not coming to school, not hearing, not obeying Guru Dev, then how you can learn? So we try to do it. So we should know that the object of bhakti, who is the object of the bhakti? Krishna himself. But we can know also Aram, Nishingha, all the incarnations of Krishna. But Uttama Bhakti, Uttama Uttama Bhakti, when object is Krishna himself, Nanda Nanda, or Radha Kanta, then it will be most uttam bhakti. So,
So, but we can take Narayan, Ram, Nishingha, all. But really it will be if we are, have engaged on all these things to Supreme Krishna. Braj, Brajat Krishna. We cannot empower all senses, everything or mind to Narayan, to Ram. We cannot make Narayan friend. He will never be friend. Ram, Narayan, he will not be son. Ram, he cannot be beloved. We can. Only he will be beloved of Sita. But Krishna, Gopijana Ballava, he can be Ballava for all. He has that capacity. But other has not. So this Uttama Bhakti should be, the object of this Uttama Bhakti is Krishna himself. Ocean of Rush, Nanda Nandan, Aradha Kama. We should also understand this thing. Parthatva is one. Parthatva means Absolute truth. <coughs> absolute truth. Krishna is absolute truth. But monism persons they talk tell that absolute truth has no shape. But Krishna has shape. So Krishna is absolute truth. Having his beautiful body, all his organs. So much merciful, and rashik also, knowing everything. He possesses all the qualities, but he is divided into three, in three forms, aspects, Brahma Tattva, Paramatma Tattva and Bhagavata. Why they are, they are telling? Some have no interest, but we should have interest. Don't try to sleep. Very easy thing, nothing. So much hard. <coughs> Otherwise, you will be like Parvati Devi, <coughs> and soup will hear and you will sleep. And oh, again, I have not heard. Don't be like that. What is Brahma Tattva? Those who try to perceive the absolute truth through the cultivation of jnana cannot realize anything beyond Brahma Tattva. What is jnana? Knowledge. What is? Who is this? Oh, what is jnana? Yes. There are, there are two kinds of knowledge, or so many kinds. Worldly knowledge. Who is he? He is my mother. Who is he? He is my father. What is this? This is a fact. What is this? So all the worldly knowledge is up to Brahma Lord. All worldly And there is also a impersonal what? That knowledge. That I am Brahma. I have no say, no qualities, nothing. I am Brahma myself. This is what. And then it is a Tattva Gyan. Tattva Gyan means? And that Tattva Gyan includes in Bhakti. Formless and immutable. 
but merely imagining the absence of material qualities does not grant one factual realization of the absolute truth. Such spiritualists think that because the names, form, qualities and activities in the material world are all temporary and painful, the Brahma which exists beyond the contamination of matter cannot possess eternal names, forms, qualities, pastimes and so on. They argue on the basis of evidence from the Shrutis which emphasizes the absence of material attributes in the Supreme, that is the absolute truth, is beyond the purview of mind and words and that it has no ears, bodily parts, limbs and so on. These arguments have some place but they can be settled by analyzing the statements of Advaita Charya found in the Sri Chaitanya Chandrodya Nataka 6.67 written by Kavi Karnapur. Ya Ya Shudir Jal Jalpati Nirvishesham Sa Savidhate Savishesham Eva Meaning In whatever statements from the Shrutis where the impersonal tattva is indicated in the very same statement, personal tattva is also mentioned. By carefully analyzing all the statements from the Shrutis as a whole, we can see that the personal tattva is emphasized more. So, though this subject is Niras, Niras means? Dry. Dry, no use. But uh, we should know this thing. <clears throat> Only Vedas or Srimad Bhagavat clearly tell you that Supreme Personality of God has had shape, so many qualities, basal uh, bhav, like these things. But all the inward Muslims, also Christians, also Bodhism, whole world, by mouth they tell that Supreme Personality of Godhead has no shape, no attribute, no qualities, nothing. First I want to tell you that in the books of Muslims, it has been written that Khuda or Allah has created men after his own image. Also in the Bible, I have heard that it is written that God created men after his own image. If he has no image, how he can do like him? And also in Vedas it is that God created man after his own image. He has, it has been made. Though they are not uh, agreeing to those points, but it's still there. So, if Krishna has no shape or God has no shape, why this God name came? Why? God means generator. If he has himself no say, no qualities, no power, then how he can make this world? So it is evident from all these things that he has shape. We can see water. We cannot define that what shape is of water. But there is water we are seeing, we are testing it also. And it works in our stomach when we are so much thirsty, quenches our thirst and gives so much power. And it has shape. Otherwise we cannot see. It has some taste, it has some color, it's warm. But when any color is mixed to them, it becomes like that. We keep it in 
any power he can be like that power. Even he can be like ocean and so big area. So we cannot define that what is the shape of water, what is the color of water, what is the quality and taste of water. So scientists have are bound to tell that water is shapeless, colorless, tasteless. But all these are things. We can see water. So if they cannot define the color, taste and shape of water, how can they explain the shape of God, the color of God, the qualities of God, but everything? In Vedas, in Srimad Bhagavatam, in every word it is written so clearly. Why he is called shapeless? Because in this stage we are not seeing. But he can be seen, as I told that, Vyas in trance he saw. Dhruva saw. All the persons in the last of Daparju, they saw Krishna. They saw Ram. Ram was traveling whole India without shoe and without umbrella. With Sita ji and Lakshmani, whole south and uh, north and everywhere in India. He was. Krishna also. Sometime he came in the shape of Nishindhade, Matsa, Bara, Kurma, and all. So we can see by bhakti. Also, uh, there is ghee in milk, but we cannot see. When it is separated, then we can see by any process. So this process is bhakti to see Krishna. So if anyone follow this bhakti process, Chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Krishna. Not like this. Mm -hmm. Suna Rama Rai. Mm -hmm. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mm -hmm. is telling to, to Sarupdha, Sat Damodar and Rama. In what process we should take name that he will be seen, visible to us? He told it. Oh, he had that. What? Tena Tapi Suni Chena. Tarorabhi sahisnuna amanina manadena kirtaniya sadari. You should chant Krishna with having three or four qualities. Tinatabhi sunish. Means be humble more than. But I see that even here, if anything which becomes. Uh, Apajit to my mind at one side. <laughs> Even a senior devotee, I can also tell anyone about I might. I may quarrel with him. <laughs> but when I remember, then I become taught. So this will be taught. <clears throat> Hearing the end and after class, take it from here and throw and <laughs> <laughs> Not like this. Always. Then, Vinad api suni chena taro api sahishnuna. Be like a tree, giving always fruits to others, his bark for others, his branches for others, his everything is for the gain of others, not for him. Fruits, he does not taste anything. His leaves, his rasa, juice. juice, everything for others. Also, he said for, or oh, sometimes tiger, bears, and all can come and take shade there. Also, nonsense person can go there, <coughs> taking fruits from there, cutting their branches, even cutting their root, and they take shelter there. And they make their palanka to sleep, they are very <coughs> I think that most of this has been built by food. 
They are never told that, uh, oh, don't cut me, don't cut me. Never. So you should be proud. Right? If you want to love Krishna and to see Krishna and to serve Krishna and to have been, to take the mercy of Krishna, then you should be taught like this tree. Krishna has also told. And have, even they don't want water. Oh, I am so hungry. I am giving you so much thing. Give a, a little water. So Vaishnava should be like this. We are hearing so many complaints from so many devotees. Always, always. So many but never any complaint from trees, any tree. <laughs> Whether you are picking, you are cutting, you are doing all this. So, we should try to be that. Always praising others according to their qualifications. Oh, very good. <coughs> you are very tall. You should sprinkle your mercy to me. Always. Why Krishna is there? My Guru Dev is also in their hearts. So, and eternally they are servant of my original Prabhu, Krishna. So, I should be humble to them. Don't want any praise from anyone. <coughs> Never. We. If he, anyone is not uh, giving praise to me, then what trick I take? Sahata <laughs> leta. Huh? What? Uh, I will tell. Oh, how beautiful and marvelous, unparalleled class I gave. <laughs> <laughs> By trickly I will pass. <laughs> he will tell. Oh, oh I pass. Anyone can <laughs> give it. Don't do this also. <laughs> never, never. But Sukhdev Goswami never have any move that, oh, all should praise me. If anyone praising and you are hearing and being happy, oh, tell God, tell God. <laughs> <laughs> then what will be? Oh, you are trying, your everything is going on. <clears throat> they are taking all, all qualities. I if you want to love Krishna and want to see Krishna and really like this, then you should follow. And then chant and Krishna will come. And you can see. Today. You should sort of think that you are beginner. Krishna is so powerful. The service to Guru Dev is so powerful. We will be very soul and all qualities will come. Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saswati made a school like this that all kinds of uh, diseases can be cured in my hospital. His, he made his school. Before there was no hospital like this. So he made his um, hospital. hospital. And we are all admitted. <laughs> Passion. So grace will, medicine will do act. You should go on chanting, hearing, listening with your heart. Then quickly it will, you will realize. That you are being told. Um, and you said that that uh, you can't have a, a friendly relationship with Vishnu. So in the Vaikuntha Planets, they don't see Vishnu as a friend. I want. He said in Vaikuntha Planets, we cannot have friendly relationship with Vishnu. Right. No, I have not told like this. You should try to understand. No, really. In back, control, only all are servant. Like Jai Vijay. 
always are him, paying respect to him. In Vaikuntha, Lo Narayan cannot come to Narad and he will take dust of lotus feet of Narad. He cannot do. He cannot embrace Narad or any devotee. He cannot take remnant of anyone there. He is bound to follow his appellate, the role of Krishna has become like Narayan. For Krishna, Krishna will take your remnants, he will embrace, he will be like friend, beloved, son, everything. Narayan cannot be son. Never. He will always father and mother of all the universe and all. You spoke about Sukadeva Swami, but you never told what happened after Bhagavatam. Where did, what happened with Sukadeva Swami? Oh, after that, Sukadeva Swami went in North Soil, means again there in Himalayas near um, Kailas or anywhere there. And he became like mad in Krishna brain. Anyone cannot realize he may be here, he is not dead. He can come in that mode, but we cannot realize. He never went back. Where? To the Oh, he is always there. <laughs> <laughs> he has always. Like Krishna, always in transcendental that Golokundavan and also all worlds. So he is like that. He has so many forms. Lacks and lacks more than Krishna. <laughs> to serve him. Like Nanda Jyosoda. How many are Nanda Jyosoda? Only one. But even he is everywhere in all worlds where Krishna pastimes is going on. And also in Guru. When we chant, remember and hear all these things, all these basic principles will come in our heart. So tomorrow, uh, Sri Lubrini will be giving some initiations in the morning at 7 o'clock, 6.30, when we come back from the morning walk, 6.30. Yes, yes, so anyone who is anyone who is aspiring and is desiring this should come to see Brajanath after the class or, or myself um, to give your name, your address. <laughs> In my young years I have done so much. <laughs> 24 hours kirtan. But I, if you like I will go. Go. Where is my our big cartels? We have flyers too. We can pass out. Many people can come tonight. And as Rukram saying, we can bring back some hippies, and Guru Dave can make them happy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
No. No. Do you like alone there? I want to be with you. Driving the double,
other tank. So, yeah.